Hey guys, my name is Destiny and welcome to my YouTube channel. I make videos all about my life as a 20 year old moving to Italy in a year and I love to make videos about skincare, hair care, makeup, and lifestyle. Pretty much just anything that's going on in my life at the moment. Today's video is going to be about my everyday summer makeup routine and I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation. I hope you guys enjoy and please subscribe. Okay, now let's get into this. Since I'm moving, all my makeup is in here that I'm keeping, so I can kind of show you guys what we got going on. So we have a bunch of stuff there and a bunch of stuff there. I'm going to be using a few products from this basket, which is my giveaway donate pile once I move. I've just been using some of the products that are in here. And I also have my brushes in this um, jar because I was letting them dry after I washed them. The first thing that I'm going to start out with is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Max Glow Serum and Primer. It is so nice and moisturizing and it also like kind of blurs your skin. So I really love this. The only thing that I don't like is it is extremely, extremely messy. Like, I don't know if you can see, but like, it's like leaking. I really don't enjoy the packaging of this product and I honestly might put it into something else, but for now it works fine. I just take a little bit in my hand and I have really dry skin, so I feel like Really? So I feel like this product just works really, really well for me. I always like to go in with two primers. So I go in with a hydrating one and then I go in with a blurring one. So the serum primer from Aveeno is kind of both, but I still do like to go in with a blurring primer. So I'm using this little sample of the YSL Touche Eclat. I don't know if that's actually how you say it, but um, I actually really like this and I may buy it once I run out of this little sample. I just take the tiniest amount and I really focus it on any areas where I have like enlarged pores or texture or anything like that. But honestly, even just that very small amount is enough to cover my entire face. I think it's worth the money probably. It also smells, the, the primers together smell really nice. If you see me looking like right here, it's because um, I don't have a mirror. So I'm looking at my screen to film this so I can see what I'm doing. Time for the foundation. So I'm using the Bare Minerals Original. This is in Fair Ivory 02. And I'm actually going, oh, I got this at Marshalls for $8. So look at Marshalls if you want this foundation. But I actually have a little sample of it as well, also in Fair Ivory or whatever, 02. So I'm just going to use this, but put it into this cap because it's easier to use this cap. The key with this foundation is to go in with small amounts and build it up rather than going in with a lot all at once. So I will just put the tiniest amount. I don't even know if you can see that. see I just put the tiniest amount and that's really all that I need I do two or three coats of this this is the um bare minerals beautiful finish brush and it has this little indent that's for the powder it works perfectly I got this in a sample with um like it had a primer foundation mineral veil and this brush and I thought it was perfect exactly what I needed so I think the bigger brush would be convenient because you could do more of your face all at once, but this one works just fine. So if you've never used the Bare Minerals foundation before, you swirl, and I swirl for about 15 seconds. So swirl, 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 then you tap just to get any excess off, and then you buff it onto your skin. And I feel like this provides pretty good coverage, especially if you build it up, you can really build a lot of coverage up. So I am going to speed up this part and kind of just show you guys 
but I do. I will just repeat this process for this side of my face and then I'll do another coat on both and yeah. This is what my skin looks like with just the Bare Minerals Powder Foundation. Like I said, I do use the original kind, so it gives a really nice glow to the skin. I feel like it looks really natural, like it just looks like your skin, but better. You get to hide any imperfections that you want to hide. And yeah, I feel like it just gives a really nice base. If you have spots that you really want to cover up, you can take a little bit of your foundation. I'm just going to take a really small amount because I don't really have any spots that I want to cover up extra. But you can take a smaller brush. This is the um, Real Techniques, I don't know. It came in a Real Technique, Real Techniques pack. But you just take the brush and you swirl it around just like you do with the normal brush. And having this little brush allows you to really focus on any areas that you may want to cover up extra. So just if you take a smaller brush, you can do more of a focus area. And yeah, I will also use this brush for my concealer. My skin is looking pretty good and even, so I am just going to take the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Concealer. This is in the shade Light Neutral 04 and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit on this brush just to give my eyes a really even appearance to the rest of my skin. I really like this concealer. I feel like it blends into the foundation really, really nicely. And I feel like it also like stays really nice. It's not too um, pigment, not pigmented, uh, drying and full coverage, but it also like gives you some coverage to hide your uneven under eyes if you need to. So I don't know, I'm a big fan of this and I think they work really well together. I got this concealer also at TJ Maxx or Marshalls for like $5, so I really highly recommend. I prefer using a liquid concealer or like a stick concealer instead of the powder concealer that you can get from Bare Minerals just because I feel like it covers more, so I prefer this. But you can use whatever you want, whatever you have. To set my face, I'm just going to be using the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, um, just like their typical setting powder for this. I'm also using a little sample and just putting it in the bigger lid because the little samples are just kind of hard to use. I'm just taking this Real Techniques blush brush and kind of swirling the um, mineral veil and then just applying it to any areas where I get creasing throughout the day. I feel like this foundation really doesn't crease on me. This is what I wore every single day of my trip in Europe because it was really easy to do and it stayed all day and I felt like it never looked bad. Like sometimes when I do liquid foundation, normal foundation, I feel like it just doesn't look like my skin. It just looks really cakey. Um, no matter the amount of powder that I put on or don't put on. I just feel like it always creases or looks really cakey. So I feel like this one, it never does that to me. And I really enjoy that about this. I also feel like since I live in Florida, I need something that doesn't come off like in the heat. And I feel like this one 
really last even when I'm sweating or you know just like outside because it's so freaking hot here and also so humid I just do a light dusting on my face probably more than I need to but like I said I live in Florida and I don't really want this makeup to come off super quickly so I'm just making sure that it is on nice and good the next thing that I'm going to be using is the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer Stick. This is in the shade Baked, and I really like this. I will do it with a brush sometimes, and some other times I will just do it with my fingers. Today, I'm feeling like doing it with my fingers, so I just rub them, and whew, that looks like a lot. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm gonna use a brush. I really don't want to mess this up. I'm using the Morphe M439 brush. I'm trying to tell you guys the brushes that I'm using because I really like to know what brushes other people are using and I feel like no one ever talks about the brushes. People always just talk about the products but like sometimes the brush or the sponge makes a difference. Okay I actually really like how that looks so we will recreate it on the other side hopefully. I'm just going to take a little bit and put it along my forehead as well. I try to avoid this area because that's like a highlighter area. I don't really want to make it look more tan. Also, I realize that I look absolutely ridiculous. I honestly have no rhyme or reason when I do my bronzer. So <laughs> I just feel like I, <laughs> I just feel like I look really silly when I do it. Um, but I feel like in the end, it looks fine. It's just like the process looks funny. I feel like I'm bronzed enough, hopefully. Um, hopefully it doesn't look too bad. It's kind of hard to do my makeup on camera, honestly. I didn't think it would be that hard. I actually used to have a YouTube channel when I was in like 6th or 7th grade and I would film my makeup every single morning before I'd go to school. I would get up at 5.45 in the morning and do a full face of makeup. So, <laughs> I feel like I have some practice with this, but, um, I don't know. It is a lot harder to do on camera. I'm going to be using a product that I'm actually getting rid of just because I'm trying to use them up while I can. Um, this is the Benefit Airvana blush. This is, I don't know if it's even sold. It's really, really old. It's like four years old, which probably shouldn't be putting it on my face, but I am. Um, I actually really, really love this blush. It's just like the packaging is so, so bulky and like the blush is fine. I have other, br other blushes that I like better. So I just like it's time to get rid of this one. I also hit pan. Don't know if you can see that little bit of pan. So I feel like I've used enough of it. Ironically, I use the blush brush from Real Techniques for my powder. And I use the light layer powder brush for my blush. That was a weird sentence, but I just swirl it around, get a lot on there, tap it off, and I try to keep it like up in the highlighted area because this is kind of a dewy, glowy blush. Um, I don't use a lot of blush, I feel like. Sometimes I use way more than I mean to just because I feel like a lot gets on the brush. And then I also just kind of bring it along my nose and on my cheeks just a little bit. See that little bit of glow it gives? Just like nice it looks like a nice little flush on your cheek next is highlighter i try not to go too crazy with it but i really like highlighter and it's hard this is the highlighter that i'm currently using it is becca opal and i really really like it i also got this from tj maxx so i just take a little bit on my brush tap it off and apply it's really hard to see if i'm applying too much 
or not enough. Hopefully you can see the glimmer of it. But I just apply it to the high parts of my cheek. And I also apply it to the tip of my nose. I bring it up here as well. I feel like it gives the appearance of a like slimmer nose, if that makes any sense. I do above my lip and I do a little bit right underneath my eyebrows. I'm just going to be using a clean brush to just soften it out just a little bit. Just because sometimes I do go a little crazy. I feel like it definitely sometimes look cra looks crazy. So I don't know if you can see the glow, but I think, I think it's looking pretty good. I honestly love this foundation so much. It's probably my favorite foundation. Like if I had to choose one foundation to use for the rest of my life, I would probably use the Bare Minerals foundation just because I feel like you can do sheer coverage, you can do full coverage. It's just so versatile and I feel like it always just looks natural and good and skin-like and that's exactly what I like. So I don't know, I just feel like it's so perfect and I'm really liking how my skin is looking right now. Huh. Now that we've used all of our powder products, I'm going to be using the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I have a huge bottle of this, but I'm just using up this little bottle. I'm going to be honest, I'm a little intimidated about how I'm going to do my eyeliner while on camera, but um, I guess we will give it a try. I'm just going to take this little brush. It is a wet and wild like eyeshadow shader brush and I'm going to take my Hoola bronzer just to give a little bit of a bronzy look in my crease. I feel like it just brings a little bit of color back into my eyes, gives a little bit of dimension to my eyelids. I'm taking a clean fluffy brush. This is also from Wet n Wild and I'm just going to soften that. Just gives a little bit of a shimmer. I mean not shimmer, dimension. I don't know what I was thinking. For eyeliner, I'm using the Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Boosting Eyeliner and Serum in the shade Deep Brown. Here's what it looks like. Really, really pretty. I like this. I feel like it looks really natural. So I'm going to do it in this mirror and hopefully I can uh, kind of show you guys what I'm doing. I'll get a little closer. So pretty much I just like to go with the shape of my eye, or at least I try to. I'm honestly not that good at eyeliner, especially not with one hand. So I will try my best. Please don't judge the makeup on the eyeliner if it turns out really bad. Also, I can't talk during this time. I know that some like beauty gurus can. I'm not calling myself a beauty guru, but I'm just saying that like I cannot talk during this time, so I will play some music. Okay, so one eye is done. Now trying to get the other eye to match it.
that took way longer than I thought it should. I hope they look pretty even. I just try to remember that they are sisters, not twins. I can never get this eye to look as good as this eye or some days, some days this will be the better eye and then I can't get this eye to look the same. So it's really frustrating, but I do enjoy putting a little bit of eyeliner on because I have really small eyes and I also have like really blonde eyelashes. So I feel like when I put eyeliner on, I get a like fuller, bigger eye look, if that makes any sense. Next is mascara. I'm going to be honest, I'm using this mascara because it makes my lashes look really natural. This is the CoverGirl Professional Remarkable Mascara. It's in the shade brown and it just really makes them look super natural, which is a look that I like when I'm going for a like natural minimal makeup look. So I really like this because it's a dry formula. So I feel like it doesn't coat your lashes too much like like some formulas are just so wet that they get clumpy and they look wet i also wanted to point out that i don't curl my lashes my lashes are naturally very curly so when i curl them they like touch my eyelid and they look ridiculous but i just wanted to let you know i don't know how this mascara holds curls or anything like that. Since I'm going for a really natural look, I'm not going to put any mascara on my bottom lashes, but here I can get up close so that you guys can kind of see. I just like it really natural. I feel like it just looks good and yeah i really like this i almost said foundation i really like this mascara the last step of my routine is putting brow gel in my brows i don't fill them in or anything honestly my brows always look bad and i just don't care about them but i usually go and get them threaded my threading place has been closed due to covid though so i've just been like randomly plucking them i don't know I don't think my eyelash, my, my eyelashes, my eyebrows ever really look that good, but it's just not really a part of my face that I care about. I don't know. I've never really liked eyebrows. I don't really look at them. I've had eyebrow pencils, but I never, ever, ever use them. Okay, I lied. I actually have two more parts to my makeup that I forgot about. Part one is adding a little bit of highlighter to my inner corner. Just to make it pop and bring in that cheek color. I really like to add the colors on my cheeks to my eyes. I feel like it kind of gives a like natural, like monochromatic, same colors look which I really enjoy. I'm just taking my finger and patting over it to push it into my skin and hopefully make it look a little more natural. And lastly, we're going to do lipstick. This is going to be a really long video. I'm so sorry. The lipstick that I'm using is a Tarte like tinted lip balm or something. It is in the shade Nude and I love it so much. I'm almost out of it. This is all that I have left, and I'm going to definitely repurchase it. I feel like it just makes your lips look a little bit better than they are naturally, and it gives them a nice shine. So here's what it looks like when I have my bottom lip with some of it and my top with none. I find this really moisturizing and hydrating, so I use quite a bit of it, and it is one of my favorite colors. This is the final makeup look. Get up close and personal. Hopefully it looks as good on camera as I can see, but I feel like it looks pretty good, pretty natural, and it stays all day. Not putting mascara on my bottom lashes, makes the mascara not transfer or anything. So I feel like it really is an all day look, even in the Florida heat, it stays put. 
and always looks good still by the end of the night. I also find that it is easy to remove and everything like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will link all the products in the description or I'll at least put the names in the description so that you can know exactly what I used. I can put the shades and everything like that. But yeah, like and subscribe and leave any comments about what you want to see next. I am going to be in a weird moving phase for the next couple of weeks. So hopefully I can film some videos so that you guys will still have content. Um, but if I miss a day, it will probably be because I'm moving. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.